Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to apply pretty much a full face using only Essence products. When I bought these products they were all brand new but I have been sitting on this box for a few months now so these products are not the most new in the Essence line that are now available through Ulta which is where I purchased all of these but they are it's a very healthy sampling of what's in the brand if you're curious about the brand and are interested in seeing how these items apply so I will apply them in real, real time for you then give you my first impressions and review of the products and kind of the best and worst at the end if you are interested so make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you aren't already uh, I have tons of videos like this the the, the latest what's new in beauty video is a giveaway video so if you would like to win some profusion makeup uh, profusion has very kindly offered to host a giveaway for that video so make sure you go check that out and make sure you also check the latest mac collection which is the patrick star uh, floral full face kit type of collection if you haven't already seen that remember that the description box below always contains where you can find these items if you want to purchase any of them and a link to the blog sale all right without further delay let's get to applying a full face of essence makeup. All right, let's start with priming the face and putting on foundation. These two are from the Fresh and Fit line. The Awake Primer Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect is $5.99. And then the foundation, the Awake Makeup Healthy Glow Foundation in a glass bottle with a pump comes um, at $6.99. The shade that I picked up here is 30 Fresh Honey. That's what the primer looks like out of the tube. It does have a fragrance to it. I can tell immediately. It feels very um, lightweight on the skin. It has almost a gel-like texture to it. It's not too tacky. Take a pump and a half of this foundation on a flat, dense brush. I think this shade is probably too light for me. It also has a noticeable fragrance. So for both of these products, I would not repurchase them because of the heavy amount of fragrance that's been added. That's not good for your skin. It can be irritating to the skin. So I think this would be a good winter shade. It's not showing up too light on camera, so that's fine. Um, but for the summertime when I'm getting no more sun exposure, I'd probably want to go one shade darker than this one. I'm going to add almost another full pump there. See how the coverage builds up. I do really like the finish. It has a very smooth skin-like finish to it. The coverage, I would say, is light medium. Even with building it up, I would say at most, well, yeah, I would say it's a good medium coverage foundation. This is one of the uh, Correcting Liquid Concealers. I chose the sh shade 10 Pastel Pink. I'm going to put this underneath the eyes to help color correct. This is $3.99. It also comes in a yellow and a green shade. We'll see if this color corrects before I put over a normal non-essence primer under my eyelids. Under my eyelids? Under my... On my under eyes. Oh, it's very thin thin liquid consistency. Okay, so it doesn't have a ton of color to it, which actually is a little refreshing because sometimes when it's too pigmented, the effect you're like, oh my gosh, it's too, too unnatural sometimes. bodes well for the green and yellow color that this comes in if it's the same consistency and thinness of pigmentation it might actually look might blend in pretty well with the skin all right then I have two cream slash liquid products which I'm going to apply before I set my face this one here is the make me glow liquid highlighter it comes in this one shade it's five dollars and 94 cents and these are all Ulta prices then we have the prismatic hollow 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 lighter, <laughs> prismatic hollow lighter stick, and this retails for $5.99. So, like I always do, my crazy Frankenstein faces that I do in these kinds of videos, I'll put um, one of them on one cheek. So, let's start with the Make Me Glow highlight. I'm just gonna tap that in with my finger. It's a really um, natural or neutral peachy champagne shade. Put the residue 
on my Cupid's bow. Okay, blends in with the skin pretty well, not too stark or gaudy. Uh oh, this one came right out of the tube. Okay, so don't get very much product in here. Ooh, it's super creamy. So let's see if we can. Oh, it's definitely holographic. It's got a blue shift to it. Blend that in with my fingers. Should have probably put the holographic shade on the side that didn't have a blemish. <laughs> this one's definitely not as natural looking on the skin. Okay, so hopefully you can see that bluish shift there and the peachy champagne shift there. So on top of the Essence Color Corrector, I applied my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to use the Essence Kabuki Brush, which is $3.99. It is synthetic bristled. I personally think that the e.l.f. Kabuki Brush feels better than this, but we're gonna go ahead and use it, um, see how it functions. And I'm going to use these two powders, the more orange one, orange one, the more yellow one is the Brighten Up Banana Powder, and I'm gonna focus that more in the under eye section. And then I'm going to use the All About Matte Waterproof Fixing Compact Powder for all over the face. Now the banana powder is $4.99 and this waterproof matte powder is $4.49. I think banana toned or like slightly yellowish toned powders, especially on skin with yellow undertones, it can look nicer to set it in the under eye area as opposed to something that's white, which again has a tendency to make things look a little bit stark. So anyway, I'm gonna powder the rest of the face with the matte. This feels wonderful. It's very soft and smooth on the skin. And if you're gonna use it just to apply, you know, a translucent powder where you don't have to worry about colors blending in really smoothly, then I think this is a fine choice and very affordable choice for a brush. So I'll set this cheek here, and then hopefully you can kind of see the difference matte versus not matte. All right, next I'm going to bronze up the face. I'll probably end up using my very trusty Lorac Pro contouring palette to contour and chisel the face, but we'll first start with the Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. I got the shade for lighter skin, and this retails for $4.49, so you do have a slightly shimmering center part and then a matte outer part. We'll see how shimmery it is grabbing this Kabuki brush. Um, Hopefully it's not too shimmery. I don't really like overly shimmery things all over the face, as I'm sure most people don't. But I'm gonna do one side of the face so you can kind of compare. So the bronze side versus the non-bronze side, you can definitely see a slight difference there. There is definitely a sheen to the skin that I can see in the mirror when I'm looking up close. Under camera lights and indoor artificial lighting, I don't think it's that noticeable, so I wouldn't mind using this as a bronzing powder if I were planning on staying inside. But if I were going to be outside um, in natural sunlight, I would not use this the way that I'm using it now because it would make my face look like it had too much of a sheen and too shiny. Next up we have, I picked these up because they were new at that time at least. These are the Metal Chrome Blushes. They come in two shades, so I'll show you both of them. They retail for $4.99, but these look super metallic. I mean, like this is something that I would think I would be putting on my eyes kind of metallic. So I really don't like really super shimmery things all across my cheek. There are also quite bizarre colors here. The coloration is, this one is 10, my name is Gold Rosé Gold. And this one is number 20, Copper Crush. This one looks way too gray, purple toned. And this is just like an orange gold, which maybe on some really deep skin tones might work really nicely. But the combination of a lot of shimmer, <laughs> I'm gonna try it, we're gonna wear it, we're gonna try it out, but ooh, I'm a little hesitant. And again, we'll do this crazy thing where I put one 
color on one side and the other color on the other. Um, let's start with, I'm gonna use the same kabuki brush and I have wiped it off so that the bronzing color is not on there anymore. Let's take the golden shade and put it on this side here. Oh yeah, that's just a bunch of shimmer. Oh God, that is just a bunch of shimmer. Yikes. Okay, so as a highlight, this might work, you know, for deeper skin tones, great, but I don't understand it as a blush. Let's go in with the grayish plummy color with silver shimmer. Okay, first of all, super metallic, which I don't like all over the cheeks, and also it's a sickly kind of color. That, that gray is too strong. So again, it might work for, oh, see, bam, look at how shimmery that is. It looked like I put highlighter all on my cheek, which is basically what I did. Ah! Okay, hard pass on these as blushes. If you want to use them as highlighters, I think they definitely can work depending on your skin tone, but ooh, otherwise, no ma'am. Okay, and then we have the Prismatic Rainbow Glow Highlighter. A year or more ago, this was really this on trend thing. This retails for $5.99. I'm not going to pile this on my face, but I will take a swipe and try to show you sort of the effect that you would get. Oh, these colors are not super strong, actually, so you don't get a really distinct rainbow striation, which I th kind of think is good because I think it looks a little weird. Um, but let's try mixing everything together. Oh, that's actually very pretty and pretty metallic. Um, it's a little on the pale side, so if you are medium to deeper skin tone, I don't think this would be a great option for you, but so there's the striated divided side and this is all mixed together. All right, let's do the eyes now. We're gonna start with the brows. This is the Superlast 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil Waterproof. This retails for $3.49, and I chose the shade 20 Brown. So it has um, a twistable pencil, and then on the other side it has a sharpener and this really weird brush. It's a rubbery pointed brush. I have no idea. I guess to make little brush strokes, actually, we're gonna try using that. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with the pencil and draw in strokes to fill in my brows. Okay, so this brow is filled in before any sort of blending or putting anything through it. This side is not, and because it has a palmady texture, it is a little more heavy handed than say a normal pencil. Ooh, this feels weird. Ooh, I don't like this. So this is um, picking up a lot. It's not just blending it out, and making it more brush stroke like. It's sort of scraping off the product in an unflattering way. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna refill this, and I'm gonna take a regular spoolie and run it through. So spoolie like this. Okay, so that's this brow done and this brow not. Okay, so there are both brows done. Not a bad product, but I think that I like the ones better that I've used recently from brands like Flower Beauty and Catrice. Um, they're just a little easier to use, less heavy handed. If you haven't checked out those kinds of videos and you like these full face with one brand uh, review try on application videos, uh, there's a whole playlist of them. I've done them for many brands, like I mentioned Flower Beauty, Catrice, um, several others. So if you like that kind, just go to that playlist, choose which ones you want to watch or you know search for them individually and go watch them. All right, then for liner, we have the Long Lasting Eye Pencil, $2.49. I picked up the shade that's in brown and the shade's called Hot Chocolate. So I'm gonna apply that to the upper lash line. I love this kind of formula. It's a gel formula, so it transfers really effortlessly without any sort of tugging on the lid. Oh yeah, love that. I didn't even have to hold down the outer part of the lid. I felt like I had good control 
I like that a lot. Thumbs up for that one. All right, now there are a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes that Essence has. I chose two of the ones I thought were a little more unusual. This is the Eye and Face palette, and this retails for $5.99 each. That blush also looks a little bizarre. It looks super pale and also really frosty. Man, you guys should just go for the Essence Satin Blushes. Those are phenomenal. I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and pick those up. I think because they're already pretty popular on YouTube and they're not new. Um, but in any case, the second palette that I picked up here is called the Be Kissed by the Moon Eye and Face Palette, also $5.99. Also, I'm not gonna use either of these two shades for blushes because they're super duper frosty. So um, looks like there's one matte shade in here. I'm gonna use that for the crease. Um, and then I think I'll use either the pink or gold on the mobile lid. Well, we'll just go step by step. I also picked up um, one of the other Essence brushes. This is the Eye Blender brush. This is less than $2. I think it's a dollar something. And that's what it looks like. Again, synthetic fluffy brush there. Taking that matte gray shade in the crease. Oh man, I am not a fan of this brush. This shadow is not showing up very well. Um, I'm going to switch to a different brush to see if it's the shadow or not, but even if it is the shadow, this brush is not, not happening here. Yeah, this this uh, shade is not strongly pigmented, but it's definitely more pigmented than when I was applying it with the Essence brush there. All over the mobile lip, I'm actually going to go in with this highlighting shade from the Moon palette. Wow, I can't even imagine using this as a highlight because the shimmer in here is not just super frosty, but it's kind of chunky. It is kind of pretty on the lids if you don't care about having too much color. I'm gonna go back in with this uh, dusty purpley shade and go over that on the mobile lid. And with a smaller crease brush, I am going to go in with this deeper shade. I'm gonna deep, deepen the crease and then go out in the outer V. Even though it looks like it might be a little shimmery, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it does not come off super shimmery on the lids. It has a sheen to it, but we're gonna go for it. All right, not my favorite eye look, but what I'm hoping will pull through is one of these uh, Metal Shock Eye Shadows. There's a whole set of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a separate swatch video just showing all of the colors in this range because I think people will probably be interested in finding out what colors they would like. These retail for $4.99 each, so very affordable. I'm going to take this purpley, dusty, mauve pink shade here. What is this shade called? Zero to Stars and Stories. So that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna pat it into the mobile lid. It's very metallic, has good color. All right, and then we're going to try two different mascaras, one on each eye. These both retail for $4.99 each. The one in the pink tube is the Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara, and the other one is the Instant Volume Boost Mascara, Smudge Proof um, Power Volume in the purple tube. So with this eye, which is my left eye, let's put the Lashes of the Day and this is what the brush looks like. It's very numerous bristles, but they're short. All right, I've already curled my lashes before applying. Oh, this is a very nice mascara. It's not watery, but it's not thick either. It's got a really nice consistency. Okay, so there's about one coat. I'll apply another one. They are sticking together a little more than I would like. Okay, so there's applied to the left. And the Instant Volume Boost. Again, um, pretty numerous bristles, not as plentiful as the Lashes of the Day one, and they're quite short. Um, 
So let's again not either neither a watery nor a thick formula. This has a shorter section between the bristles and the handle, so I find it a little more awkward to use. There's one coat. I do like the longer kind of handle or distance to the handle. Okay, so there are the mascaras applied. Not a huge difference. I would say the purple one on this side, the um, there's a little more length to the lashes, a little less volume, and vice versa. For the pink one, there's a little more volume, not quite as much length, but that difference is super, super minor. Next, I picked up two different lip pencils. One of them is the Soft Contouring Lip Liner. This is a traditional pencil uh, packaging. This is $2.49. I also wanted to try the Long Lasting Lip Liner, and this is $2.49 also, which is interesting to me because it comes in a plastic, uh, sort of retractable packaging. I would think that that would be more expensive, but I guess not. So I'm going to use the deeper shade. Uh, I chose Plum Cake for the retractable one, and I chose 06 under my skin for the traditional pencil one. I'm gonna use the plum one on the outside and put the more pinky toned one on the inside. Oh, this is a beautiful formula. I've been really impressed by drugstore lip liners lately. This is applying effortlessly. So pleasant to apply. No tugging at all there. Going in with the pink in the middle. Also pretty smooth. Not quite as smooth as the gel formula on that other one. But even then, pretty small amount of tugging there. And then for the lips, I'm not sure what I was thinking because I literally picked up one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds of lip products and then a bunch of colors and all those different ones. There's no way I could show that to you in a video. So maybe I was planning on doing a swatch video, which I think I will go ahead and do. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna take one of the Ultra Last Instant Color Lipsticks. These retail for $4.99 each. And I think I'll go ahead and put on the shade 08 which looks like this. Nice nudie pink. Goes on nicely. It has, I don't know if it has a fragrance added or that's just the way it smells. It's very light, not too strong. Very pleasant to wear. And then I picked up all of the Vibrant Shock paint lips, as you can see there. I also picked up all of the matte, 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 long-lasting lip glosses and all of the Water Kiss Glossy Lip Colors. So I guess maybe I'll do one video where I show you a bunch of Essence uh, lip products. Hopefully you'll be interested in that. But as for this video, that is where I'm going to stop for this full face of Essence uh, products. You can probably tell the things that are standout for me were the eyeliner and the lip liners. I think those were beautiful. I would have loved the, I think, foundation, but that fragrance is a non-starter for me, so I would not be repurchasing that. The most disappointing ones are these bizarre metal blushes, which I think don't work for that purpose. They can work as highlighters, but not really as a blush. I don't think that any of those eyeshadow palettes are worth getting either. So those are my overall opinions. Let me know in the comment section below what you think if you've tried any of these products. I know there are a ton of other Essence products that are uh, talked about and that are very popular. I tried to get some of the less known ones or the new products in this video. So I hope that you enjoyed. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch.